Hi artists! So now it's your turn to make some art. I hope you enjoyed learning about the artwork uh, and a little bit about the life of our artist Peter Max. Um, his artwork is definitely very vibrant and happy to look at. Um, so we are going to ring in the new year with some good vibes and we are going to use his artwork as inspiration. Um, so if you look over on the left, this is um, my example. And over here on the right, I used this sheet to help me get started and to give me some good ideas. So this week it's just going to be about relaxing, having fun, um, using bright colors, and really just feeling good. So uh, this paper is going to be on a slide later in this video. Um, so you can pause the video and work from this image um, if you'd like. Alright, so what we're going to do with this, we're going to choose one image from each line, from each column, to help us get started. Now, here's the thing, I always like to give you a lot of options. So, if you would like to draw something besides a heart, um, you, are, you are welcome to draw something different. Um, maybe you could trace your hand or draw a star or anything you'd like to do. Also, um, no need to only choose one thing. If you'd like to do multiple from each line, um, you may do that as well. So let's go ahead and get started. Um, and we're going to talk these things through together as we do them. So when I first started, I wanted to have um, a nice heart shape to trace so that I could have an even... Uh, have it even on both sides. So to create my heart template, I took a sheet of plain paper. I'm using scrap paper. I folded it in half, and then I drew where the fold is. The fold is on this side. I drew half of my heart. And when I cut it out with a pair of scissors, and I open it up, this is what I get. So I'm going to use my heart template. You know what, and last time I put it right in the center of my paper. This time, I don't know, I'm going to put it off to the side. Maybe down low and kind of at an angle. Okay. Let's see, and the next thing on my list to do is, oh, let's see, some kind of border around my heart. Let's see, this time I think I'm going to make a scalloped edge. If you don't want to put anything around your heart, you don't have to, or whatever shape it is you chose to draw. The next thing, you know what, I see there's a heart with wings right here, so I think I'm going to draw another smaller heart. I'm going to freehand it this time. And let's see, I'm going to choose these majestic wings. So I'm going to come down. Look. There we go. Now, Peter Max used a lot of um, different lines. There was a lot of movement in his artwork. So, let's see. This time, I think I'm going to choose some zigzag lines. And I'm just going to go right across my paper. Maybe I'll make it look like that's a mountain range. Max sometimes used landscapes in his artwork. Nice. All right, let's see. I'm going to go with some clouds next. I'm going to put them anywhere on my paper. I think I'm going to 
draw um, like the sun right here. And then I'm going to have these psychedelic lines coming straight out of the sun, like the rays of my sun. So it's going to end up looking pretty busy, but that's okay. That's how we want it to look. And I want you to use as many bright colors as you can. We want it to be fun and colorful and funky, whatever makes you feel good, whatever makes you feel happy. When it comes to coloring this, um, as always, feel free to use whatever you have on hand. If you have colored pencils that you'd like to use, or let's see, oops, crayons, uh, markers, pencils, anything you have. If you want to collage things on top of it, um, feel free to do that. Let's see, I'm going to start with And then I'm going to color in some of my rays with this crayon because that's what I have. I'm going a little bit fast, but I really want you to take your time and fill in every space on the paper. So when Peter Max was a little boy, um, his mother was a famous fashion designer and they traveled all around the world and she really encouraged him to make a lot of art. Um, he loved listening to music and so a lot of the music that he listened to inspired the lines and the movement in his work and the vibrant colors. Okay, so you're just going to keep going. Um, let's see, I didn't add anything from that column. Maybe I'll add a couple flowers inside. My heart. So you can keep adding things as you go along. Whatever you do, I just want you to make sure that you're having fun when you do it. Um, so again, this is going to be our guide. You're going to choose one from each column. You can choose more than one. And if you'd like to switch it up a little with this first one, if you're not um, excited about doing hearts, then you are welcome to do that. Now, I just want to show you one other thing. If you want to draw other shapes, on a separate sheet of paper and cut them out, you could also add things that you've drawn as a collage like that. Now because I'm so excited that we are in a new year and it's 2021, I wanted to incorporate some words of things that I hope I see in the new year. So you don't have to, but if you want to put a word in there of something you would like to see more of this year, you are welcome to do that. Um, I would like to see more smiles. I would like to see more kindness. And I definitely would like to see a lot more love. So I hope you have fun doing this. Um, again, however you want to do it, it is completely up to you. If you want to use paint or crayons or markers or colored pencils or all of them at once, um, whatever makes you happy. I can't wait to see your artwork. Bye.